Good morning and welcome to the little apartment on the prairie. Today I am doing a bit of an experiment with wild lettuce. A wild lettuce is a plant that looks a lot like dandelion. It's kind of bigger. It's got prickles on the back. The leaves have kind of a different pattern. Um, I'm not going to try to explain to you how to identify wild lettuce. That's something um, if you Google how to identify wild lettuce, you'll find some great articles. If you look on YouTube, you'll find videos and you can also Google dandelion versus wild lettuce and you will find videos comparing the two. So I'm not going to do that. I'm kind of new, well very new, to using wild lettuce. Um, each year I kind of experiment with a different plant or two and that's how I learned about foraging and doing things with different plants. So I've got some that's been hanging in my closet drying because I didn't have enough at one time to do something with it. And most of the time what people do with wild lettuce is it's supposed to have pain relieving properties. And so they either dry it and use it as a tea or you make a tincture out of it where you put it in a jar and you cover it with vodka and you let it sit in a cool dark place and shake up the jar every uh, so often for a couple months and then you strain out the plant material and you've got this extract that's, it's like you make vanilla extract, you know, you've got this really concentrated high whiskers amount of the plant. And I've got some videos making tinctures and I'll put links to those down in the description. Um, so I've got some dried wild lettuce that I had picked um, a couple weeks ago. And then I've got some fresh wild lettuce I picked today. And what I'm going to try to do, I've already got some in vodka to make a tincture, and we'll see how it works for pain. But what I want to try doing is making a salve with it. So what I'm going to do is cut it up and put it in a jar, and then cover it with almond oil. And I'm going to make it the way I make dandelion salve. You let it sit in the oil for a couple months in a cool dark place, shake it up once in a while, and then... Uh, make it into a sap. So I've got a video that shows how I make dandelion sap. I'll put a link to that down in the description. And I'm gonna make this sap the same way. And I'm gonna see if the sap has pain relieving properties. I don't know if it will or not. So I won't know for a few months, but at some point we'll find out. So today I'm just preparing it by cutting it up and putting it in a jar. And like I said, I've got some that's dried and some that's fresh. You can use it either way. I had to lock Sassy in the bathroom because she wouldn't leave it alone. I'm like, you do not like wild lettuce, Sassy. She's like, want to bet? So, it is a little bit prickly. And it's got like a sap the way dandelions do, like a milky white. You know, when you cut it, you see the, I don't know if you can see it in there. See the stem, it's got like a milky white sap that's supposed to have these pain relieving properties. So we'll find out if it does or not. Um, like I said, every year I, I try to like pick one or two new plants and learn about them. Or, you know, I also try to take plants that I've used before, but use them in a new way. So I'm going to just kind of smush these leaves down. You kind of bruise them. That gets the, you know, the sap or the whatever, the juicy stuff out. And cover it with almond oil. I usually use almond oil when I make salves. Um, some people use different oils. Almond oil is affordable and it works for me um, as long as you don't have an allergy to tree nuts. I almost said nut trees, which I guess would be the same thing. I need to buy more almond oil. I saw you can buy it like by the gallon on Amazon. And this is a slow way to pour it. Let's try this. This is probably going to take all of it I've got in this bottle. Almost all of it. We'll just dump it all in there. All right. Let me get a lid for that jar. Okay. 
and I'm gonna write on the lid with the Sharpie what's in the jar because otherwise I will not remember. I have too many jars of plants in my cupboard. Shake it up a little bit and that's it. We'll come back in a couple months and see how it looks. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. If you hit the little bell icon, YouTube should notify you when I post something new. And I hope you're all having a great day.